it has been a proper duel in the uh, sunset here tonight the northwest 200 with still more laps to go who is going to who's getting tired i mean alistair Seeley's uh, he's in fairness he's done about he? five races so far today yeah that's a point isn't it because glenn irwin's uh, fresh out of the box we're on the final lap and that oh. thing's all over the place going up towards the roundabout Seeley saw that tries to come on at the outside and oh. glenn was just having none of it is he no, no. legs are they out shall everywhere not pass. and he stops it in the middle of the corner that's pretty smart actually if you see yeah. he really backs it down in the corner in the middle of that roundabout just so he can fire it off the corner no one's coming around the outside of him at that time but they might do now Seely has got the run out of the chicane and it's wriggling all over the place he's trying to keep it down on the ground but oh my oh. goodness me oh it's like a broken toilet seat he's sat on at the moment that Tyco BMW is normally so tidy and ship shape with him on board isn't it slipstream city here we go Seely is in the slipstream he's going to go left or right and he goes over to... Oh, oh, he's on the grass, Steve! Oh, my goodness me. Seely, the camber of the road sort of dragged him into it. He had to shut the throttle, so oh, he yeah. should have done. He's back in out. the dirt at 175 miles an hour. Hutchie took advantage. He probably got sprayed in water and stones, but I can't believe what I've just seen there. Alice Seely, <laughs> he's back on the throttle. He is. He's coming hard at Ian Hutchie. Glenn Irwin is breaking down into the corner, but Seely's right back behind Hutchie. Theoretically, he should have been passed by both Michael Dunn and Michael Rutter here, here we go again the camera of the road drops and look at that the wheels are in the dirt they're in the gutter at that point he just had to roll out of it oh, it's, so a ditch. it's far worse than that that was so close oh, to the edge wasn't it that would have confused the traction control almost certainly <laughs> right well <laughs> look look, he's, he's come straight back yeah I'd have been off to the toilet myself <laughs> but anyway Alistair Seeley has just got back on into gear and he's coming again it's not over yet. We've got half a lap to go. Erwin won't know what happened behind him, so he won't know that Alistair Seeley ought not to be doing this at this particular moment in time. So he's just going to treat him like he's treated him throughout the race. Uh, oh, and they're closing on traffic. There was a back marker just going through the bottom of the mm. screen there. And if that, the yes, oh, yeah, there he is, Here we number go. 24. That could be very awkward. That's Andy Sellers. He's going to get a lesson in a minute because these two are charging through. Erwin's going to go around the outside. He's had to shut the throttle a little bit. Definitely compromise his oh. line. No. See, he's gone down the inside into church. Seely goes through at Church Corner. Is this the de the D well, that needed doing? But I think we've still got another run down to the Juniper Hill chicane. So over the top of Black Hill in a minute. That was close there. That There's was. no question that Glen Irwin had to just compromise his line, shut the throttle a bit, and Seely didn't need a second invitation. But Irwin slipstreaming him up the hill yeah. now, coming out of the draft, going over the top. This is tough. Uh, on the Stuff. outside of him, they're oh, going to touch. No. Oh, and Seely's wriggling around. It's now Irwin's Irwin. got the inside line. Oh, that was a magnificent job from Glen Irwin. Alistair Seeley was almost out of control, trying to stay in front, and he couldn't do it. And Irwin just went scything past yeah, him so yeah. neatly. And look at his sideways. They're power sliding through Juniper Hill up to the line. <laughs> Surely Seeley's no. not going to try and dive up the inside. Is Glenn Irwin going to do it? He's going to do it now. Seeley hasn't got a chance of getting past him as they go towards the line. It is Irwin and Seeley and Hutchie. What a breathtaking, what a fantastic race oh. that was. That was an astonishing performance from those yeah, two. Absolutely stunning. Look at that, 0.172.